tail, Queen's Guard. I felt you reaching out. You shine as a beacon of ascendant power. Maintaining my connection is demanding, but by observing your astral wake, I am discovering ways through the ley lines that have never been charted before. As you move through the ascendant plane, you consecrate it on a paracausal level. Its borders fray and yield to your touch. The corruption within withers as you approach. For someone of your ability, one step through that darkness can equal a thousand on this plane. Ten thousand. Ten million. A Shadow Legion prison ship drifts above us amidst the stars, far beyond our range. Or so they believe. Come to me and I shall open a path. Show them. Nothing is outside your reach. The newest Shadow Legion prison is all the way up in orbit. That's too hot a drop, even for me. Distance is no obstacle for one traversing the Ascendant Plane. Show them, Guardian. The Shadow Legion believe the vacuum of space will prevent our infiltration. I bet they've got everyone on anti-air defenses. Looking out for dropship, last thing they'll expect is the Guardian popping out of a wall, guns blazing. Our coalition makes even the miraculous possible.
That must be the prison ship in the distance. Looks like we're gaining ground. If the Guardians keep up like this, they're gonna put us pilots out of a job. I know how you feel. I've traded fire with a Cabal for hours just to watch a Guardian destroy them in seconds. It's not a question of efficiency. It's about heart. Without people like you holding us together, we'd be back in the Dark Ages. <laughs> Forward is barred not by magic, but by technology. The Guardian's ghost has within him the power of a spritzer. He will hang the barrier in time. Scouts report increased activity in the hangar. Perhaps they're trying to evacuate the captives? More likely they're falling back to an area with air support. That's what I would do. You pilots are all the same. Air support is your answer to everything. Damn right. Otherwise we wouldn't have any infantry left to buy us drinks. Sanctify this foul place with the magic of the Awoken. Consecrated essences from the Taken to weaken the Commander.
I would have thought your time among the Awoken taught you better. You have allies in the dark, Cal of Light. Do not fear. Hey, Guardian. We were just grabbing a little downtime. Gotta celebrate your successes, you know? Amanda told me we must not forget to kick it back. <laughs> oh, we have accomplished much and saved many lives. That's right. There's no I in team, but there is an A and an M. Please don't tell folks I said that. But yeah, we're a team. Any door I can't hack open, you splice through. We are in this together. It is a privilege to join you. You and the Vanguard welcomed us as honored guests in your city. Guests? The city is your home. When I first showed up at the gates, I felt like I belonged. And that's how it should be for everyone. I had thought you were born there. Nope. I got there later. Same as you. Amanda. You know our story, but I would very much like to hear yours. I grew up on the road. Long as I could remember, my family had been walking toward the last city. My mama told me we'd be safe there. She said that was all that mattered. But at the time, all that mattered to me were the jump ships in the sky above. I thought they were the greatest thing I'd ever seen. My folks tried their best, but the road's a dangerous place. When the House of Winter attacked, my mama fought them off best she could. Even killed a captain before they shot her. Pneumonia got my daddy not long after. I'd heard tales of people resurrected, chosen for immortality, but not them. They were just gone. When I finally reached the last city, I knew my mama was right. I'd be safe there. I was finally home. I learned to fly as soon as I could reach the stick. I never had powers like the Guardians or a ghost to resurrect me. But in the cockpit, I'm every inch as tough. Now, every time I fly, I remember where I came from and who I'm fighting for. And that's all that matters. Thank you, Amanda, for your story and your spirit. Yeah, well... We've come a long way, huh? Yes, we have. I think I preferred fighting gold. Shadow Legion to be a more formidable enemy. Too early to say, but I understood the Reds. Look one of Gaul's soldiers in the eyes, and you'd at least see a soul behind them. Hell of a time on that Shadow Legion ship, wasn't it? Of course, I joined for other reasons, too. When you heard the story, I needed a home, a family, some place to belong, just like Mithrax. He's amazing to work with. He's always so gentle around the tower. I forget he's an elixir war captain. But man, I learned quick when we started tackling those prison transports. And once, he got jumped by two legionaries, and when I turned to help, he just shouted, 
You need not waste your shells. Man, he's a tough old bastard. And I absolutely love it. Bringing the fight to them for a change? That's the kind of thing I joined the Vanguard for. He's the best patrol partner I've had in years. But I gotta keep our comms closed. Last week, Devram heard me call him Crawdaddy. Nearly laughed himself unconscious. Control our own future. The Elixir will never be these things again. <laughs> 